My name's Luke Shepherd, um, and I'm a technician at the National Nuclear Laboratory in Preston. It's working with radioactive samples. Um, what that is, is we do analysis, basic analysis, chemistry sort of jobs on samples that we receive from different uh, sites which are in decommissioning process and from other companies around the country and hopefully trying to go into the worldwide market as well. Well, my father works for the company. He deals with uh, uranium in big drums and things like that. And he has done that for 30 years. Um, and obviously I looked at my dad and thought, well, he's had a brilliant career and he's always done all right. And he believed there were some apprenticeships uh, opening up. So I applied, having no previous background in chemistry apart from my GCSEs at school. When I started my apprenticeship, I think I was about 23. So, I mean, I was quite old to apply for an apprenticeship. A lot of people, they sort of think that you need to do them straight after school. Um, I applied, was successful, and went on to do a course um, at Preston College, which was a BTEC in chemistry. To, to be honest with you, when I finished school, I didn't want anything more to do with learning and that's why I went in the army. But my school was a good school, my teachers were all great. It was just, I think I was a bit of an arse really. I had to put a lot of effort in because I, me I messed up big time. If, it, if I could go back and speak to myself, um, what I would say was just, just knuckle down and just, just deal with it. I learned a lot of stuff in the army with regards to discipline and how to basically behave in the, the normal world because obviously at school you don't, you don't learn about that. Um, and then I left there and worked in the civil service. I went and did an IT course at Blackpool and Fowl College. I did that for two years and then became an estate agent for three years. And then that's when I landed with this job really. At first I, di I didn't actually get it um, because there was people who were younger than me who had A-levels in chemistry that did get it. Um, and then one of the lads pulled out and they picked me based upon my age and my maturity. A lot of people, what they seem to think is that you're the brew maker. All you do is just make cups of tea and coffee for the people who know what they're doing, but it wasn't the case. We were just chucked in at the deep end um, and we were doing the same jobs as what everyone else was doing. Um, and then when new people came into the company or within into my team, because we were split up, uh, I trained them, even though they had the degrees, they had um, all the knowledge already, but because they didn't know exactly what they were doing within the role, I had to train them. So when I started, um, me and um, another apprentice, we used to go to college twice a week and all the other students, they just wanted to know what we did because we were different to them because they went to college four or five days a week while we went like for half days on two days. And to be honest with you, we felt like we were real professionals in, in what we do and it was, it was quite exciting. As lucky as I am, I wish I could have started my apprenticeship when I was younger because obviously now, at my age that I am, the experience I'd have be amazing. You walk into this organisation full of doctors and chemists and all these people who know everything and they just bombard you with information, especially with nuclear. It's quite quite scary at first, um, obviously saying that you could get like contaminated and all this kind of stuff, but then that becomes interesting because it's something you don't know about. I've decided just to hold back for the year, but I do feel um, there is need for a degree. But the, the other thing is, if a company is offering to pay for it for you, then you you do it. I've nearly got nearly three years experience in, in the lab. I've got my, uh, my chemistry from my BTEC and if I go for a degree or a HNC or any other sort of, sort of course that I feel would be beneficial to me, um, they'll put me on it. I'll have no debt and I'll have that experience to then go elsewhere. When I was at school what got pushed into me was you go to college or you go to sixth form and you do A-levels um, or BTECs and that's it really. They don't tell you that you can go on to apprenticeships. I, I have no regrets, I just, you, there's different ways that you can go about it. A lot of people don't think I'd amount to anything. I've done really well, I'm in the process at the moment of just applying for a mortgage. Me and my, my fiance, we, um, we have our flat together. Um, she's got a job, I've got a job, um, and we're comfortable to pay the bills and we've, we, we managed to do all, all what we want to do as well. And I think what I've done, it's got me to a point now in my life where I'm really happy and I'm, re I'm really pleased with the way things have worked out. Um, but I probably could have got here a lot sooner. 